Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your very own Gary's Mod animation or Machinima or whatever it's called. I really don't know, but you know, whatever it is, that's what it is. Anyway, you're going to get learnt with the caveman. Yep, in the Stone Age. Anyway, or whatever it's called. So, anyway, first, this is this video, I'm just going to tell you what you need to you know all whatever what editing software you need or or whatever editing software I recommend and you know I'll just tell you what you need you need a screen recorder for recording certain parts of the game and you will need an editing software which I do recommend Shotcut because it is free and is actually not really that hard to use I don't think it, it shouldn't be too hard to use and also recommend downloading OBS if you're going to be doing some screen for screen recording. Now you can get fraps, but I think it costs. Pretty sure it does. But yeah, you. But I do recommend getting getting a uh, OBS because uh, you know just recommend because it's it's free and uh, yeah. So that's. That's uh, what I recommend getting. You know, to, you know, get go ahead and get get that before you do, you know, your animations. Get that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Get. You can get. You don't have to get OBS and Shotcut. You can get other types of screen recorders. It doesn't really matter what you get, just as long as you get a screen recorder and uh, editing software, and as long as you know how to use it. But if it were me, I'd, I'd get OBS and Shotcut because they're both free. And also, I'd like to mention that Gary's Mod, from what I heard, is not a game that'll work on its own. It'll actually, um, I'm trying to think. You actually, if I'm right, I believe you need like one source game to run the game. And so, so let's say you got Gary's Mod, but you don't have any more money just to like to get another game. Get Team Fortress 2 or I guess CS:GO because those games are free to play. Thank goodness. And uh, yeah, but yeah, you think you need at least one source game to run uh, Gary's Mod. But yeah, that's uh, that's yeah, about it for that. And also, I'd like to say something else. Now, there are two ways you can animate. You can animate by using um, this one um, way. Or, or yeah, this one technique. I was, I was trying. Sorry, I was trying to think. What I was going to say. <laughs> you, there's this one way you can animate that I see some. See how I see that some most people. I don't know about most people, but some people use this technique called a stop motion which is they'll take screenshots and they'll put, in, put them together in their editing software and resize them down to go along with certain like lines from game from the game and whatnot you know and that's basically what my video of Francis Hates Everything is just screenshots put together can't get this leg to move right but yeah that's what my uh, Francis Hates Everything uh, video is just screenshots put together and uh, yeah, in, and in my other animations, my Crazy Adventures of Ellis and Lewis, which is a uh, real quick, I'm working on. I'm actually working on episode four, so stay tuned for that. It's taken it. It's, yeah, I hadn't really been working on it as much, but I will be sure to buy him. Starting back to working on it. Don't worry, I will be. I am still working on it. Don't worry. But yeah, uh, e um, episode. But yeah, the episodes that I've been making, they're very, like the, the long uh, Adventures of Ellis and Lewis animations. Those are, so you can see that those are not screenshots because they're very, very smooth looking. And what I'm using to animate right there is Stop Motion Helper, which is a mod I will put in the link in the description so that you can download it for whenever, I don't know, for in the next video. But yeah. Um, you can, um, yeah, anyway, so that's why, 
that's uh, what I use to make those animations but in the Francis hates everything animation that's just screenshots put together so yeah just want to go ahead and say that real quick and I'm going to go ahead in this video here and then I will be making a video next on you know how do you stop motion helper see you in the next video see you later